In pickleball, there are a ton of tools and shots you can use to upgrade your game. One of those shots in particular is topspin. And topspin is great because you can use it in multiple shots and multiple scenarios to give your game an edge. Today, we're going to look at topspin and break it down step by step. That way you can easily apply it the next time you're on the court and use it to take your game to the next level. Let's get into it. Welcome to High Five Pickleball, where we help you play better, win more, and make the most of your time on the court. My name is Adam Richards, and today we're covering how to use topspin to upgrade your game. A topspin shot is when you hit the ball in such a way that it rotates forward. As the ball rotates forward through the air, it spins, and air friction causes the ball to dip. There are a few benefits of using topspin. For example, you can hit the ball harder, and it will stay in compared to a flat shot. Topspin shots dip, so it can make it harder for your opponent to read the shot. And lastly, topspin shots are harder to attack off the bounce because they bounce differently than flat shots. Here are a few examples of topspin shots versus flat shots. For this breakdown, we will be looking at the basic movements that you can use to generate topspin for your shots. If you'd like to improve your game beyond topspin and do it all for free, be sure to check out the path to better pickleball. This is a free downloadable skills guide and a video series that covers the 10 important skills every player needs to know. Thousands of players have gone through it and I'm getting some really positive feedback on how it's helping their game. If you'd like to join for free, just click the link in the description. The first step, and one of the most important steps in applying topspin, is your grip. You'll want to adjust your grip to an eastern or a semi-western when you hit the ball. A simple way to adjust your grip to eastern is to line up your base knuckle on your pointer finger to the side of the paddle or a little further for semi-western. If you were to try topspin with a continental grip, the paddle face would be more open and it would be harder to really brush up on the ball. Before you swing, you want to be mindful of where the ball is and where your feet are. The ball should be out front in your Goldilocks zone, so it's not too far away and not too close. Your weight should be balanced, and you can place your non-dominant foot slightly in front of the other. This will help you turn your shoulders more when you swing, especially on drives and drops. This adds more torque and more power to your swing. When you swing, drop your paddle head down below the ball, and when you make contact, you want to hit the ball from low to high and brush up on the ball with your paddle. Be sure to engage your shoulders here and turn your shoulder to generate power and spin. You don't have to swing very hard to generate spin. However, if this shot is new for you and you're practicing, try to over-exaggerate your brush and to really get a feel for it. After you make contact, you will follow through and finish with your paddle on the other side of your body. When you're at the net or advancing to the net in game situations, be careful not to exaggerate your follow through too much because the ball will likely come back at you quickly and you want to be ready to defend your opponent's shot.
If you enjoyed this content or learned something new, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another update from High Five Pickleball. Thanks for watching.